All Zauer compressors have their own ventilation system. To avoid damage caused by condensation, the fresh air supplied must not be directed straight at the compressor. The drain lines of several compressors have to be laid separately. It is imperative to avoid starting other compressors arranged in parallel by joining drainage lines. Zauer compressors can even be reliably used in room temperatures of up to 55 degrees centigrade. Attention! Too much ventilation is more harmful than useful. All host lines have to be installed tension-free and without any twists to guarantee the compressor vibration will not lead to material damage. Only authorized persons are permitted to install and commission our compressors and to operate them. Before switching on, firstly check the compressor condition for leaks, joint tightness, etc. and all tools and loose parts have been removed from the machine. During operation of the compressor, the suction intake, as can be seen by the marker, has to be directed upwards. To avoid damage, only oils or oil grades in accordance with the lubricant table chapter 10 are permitted. Should other oil grades be considered, starting requires agreement with Zauer and Zorn. For air compression, mineral oils are used. Synthetic oils are not recommended, as their use may cause damage owing to their better separation properties. The low compression temperatures of three-stage air-cooled compressors again lower the risk of carbonization on valves, even when mineral oils are used. Zauer recommends the use of normal SAE30 oils, as they are also used in diesel engines and readily available. Only after visual inspection and an oil check is it permitted to switch the power supply on. First, the direction of rotation has to be checked in manual mode. Rotation can be determined simply but has to correspond with the rotation arrow on the crankcase. If the direction is wrong, there will be no oil pressure created with the risk of consequential damage. The compressor has to be stopped immediately. The monitoring gauges and switches supplied for the three-stage air-cooled sour compressor, for example oil pressure and temperature switch, have been checked and adjusted during the works factory test. When putting into service, only the cabling within the electrical control panel has to be checked. This can be done simply by disconnecting the electric connections on the devices themselves or at the terminal box. After the interruption of the contact, the respective alarm will display. When the compressor starts in manual start-stop mode, the correct adjustment is for the drain valves to close after approximately 15 seconds and the compressor to come onto load. Every 15 minutes, for about 15 seconds, an automatic signal will open the drain valves to dewater the compressor. The proper function for this cycle can be seen as the air pressure falls on all stage pressure gauges. When the compressor is operating in automatic start-stop mode, remote pressure switches monitor the pressure in the system. If the pressure falls below the adjusted range, the compressor will start. However, when the maximum system pressure is reached, the pressure switch will switch off the compressor and await a restart. If the compressor stops for a long period of time, then the power supply should be switched off. 